Champions of my everything! Right, I just want to say a few words, not, not a big uh, not a big lecture. Um, there's a guy called Ralph who often comes down here. He's a pretty tall brown guy. Um, and uh, he's recently hitched up with an outfit called Patriotic Alternative. Patriotic Alternative is the new neo-Nazi organization in Britain, headed up by a chap called Mark Collette, who has a long history of far-right neo-Nazi activism in the UK. He was a senior chap in the British National Party. Uh, and uh, he has now set up this organization called Patriotic Alternative. And, and Ralph uh, is a part of that quite openly. So I invited Ralph to debate me on the political philosophy of Patriotic Alternative. Because they do have a political philosophy. And I know they have one because Mark Collette has published a book recently called The Fall of Western Man. The Fall of Western Man, as Mark Collette will tell you on his website, uh, is available uh, to purchase or you can download a free PDF file. I happen to have read it, and although it's highly repetitious and in parts quite tedious, because he tends to repeat the same point over and over and over, um, some bits of it uh, I even agree with. But a lot of it is um, there's a crucial chapter there where he praises National Socialism. National Socialism, of course, is the ideology of Adolf Hitler in Germany. And Mark Collette talks about Germany and praises it to the skies. He talks about how wonderful it was, the great order. He talks about the Nuremberg rallies and how the soldiers were so uh, marching in unison and they sh show a great unity uh, and how nationalism, national socialism, is a perfect society, a homogenous society. And he goes on and on like this, praising national socialism, Nazi ideology. And, um, and I thought, hmm. This is slightly controversial. They call themselves patriotic alternative, but in Britain, if you're a patriot, you would, and if you're of a certain age, you would have fought against these very Nazis during the Second World War. This, these national socialists in the form of Nazi Germany were our lethal enemies. So if you're a good British patriot, you would not be supporting patriotic alternative, whose political philosophy is national socialism. Now, Mark Collette wants a white Britain, uh, now this is ironic because Rich, because um, Ralph is not white. He's actually from India originally, and I laugh because he is supporting someone who would wish to deport him and his family. Not so funny, from Britain, presumably to India. Why would a brown man support a party that would do his family such harm? That's a question for Ralph to answer, of course. But a more serious point is, I want to debate Mark, um, Ralph about his party's national socialist ideology. And there's one other thing I'll say about it. Throughout the whole book, it talks about an unnamed group of people, an unnamed conspiracy in the West that is trying to flood the West with non-white people, that's trying to destroy the family and so on. And we know who these people are, according to Mark Collette. They are the Jews. So Mark Collette has a, a, um, an ideology, an, an idea, which is very similar to Mein Kampf. Mein Kampf is the German words, my struggle, the very popular book by Adolf Hitler, who targeted the Jews as the real enemy of Germany. And for Mark Collette, the real enemy of the West are the Jews. Why does this matter? Well, we all know what happened. We all know about the Holocaust. We know how millions of people, innocent people, Jews and others, were killed purely because of, of their ethnic group. And we know that uh, Mark Collette represents and defends this ideology. So I wanted to debate this with Ralph. What could be more innocent? I want to debate the political philosophy of his leader's own published work in the book, The Fall of Western Man, which we can all read online. And Ralph said yes. On four occasions, Ralph said yes, he would debate me. I thought, great. We even had the cameraman. He'd be Ralph was talking to the cameraman who was standing from me, good man. He had agreed, had he not? He wanted to debate me, hadn't he? Yeah. Mr. Um, Paul. Thank you. Can I ask you a question? No, you can't. So the interesting thing okay, is, I'll ask a, week, a week ago, a week Mr. ago, Paul. excuse me, excuse your mind. A week ago, Give me a second. Um, Ralph told me, Why or do rather, you challenge I, Bob? I read, Bob. I read that, I read that Ralph, Ralph, sorry, Ralph said online 
that he's no longer going to debate me because he had asked higher up in the organization, i.e. Mark Collette, and Mark Collette had told him not to debate me. So Ralph has pulled out of the debate he agreed to do because his Nazi Fuhrer, which is what he is, he's a Nazi and he's a leader, a Fuhrer, his Nazi Fuhrer has told him, Ralph, not to debate me. Why? Because I'm just going to quote to Ralph the Fuhrer's own writings about National Socialism, about the Jews and things like that. So Ralph has been told not to debate me. I'm very disappointed. I look forward to the opportunity to do so. I think Ralph should man up and debate me anyway. If he believes in the political philosophy of patriotic alternative, he should man up and defend it publicly, defend the, the, the writings and the teachings of his Fuhrer, of his leader. In running away like this, you are conceding the argument. Why would you run away? All I want to do is quote the writings of your Fuhrer and say, this is not patriotic. The British people will not support Nazism again. We defeated this disgusting ideology in 1945. We're not about to rush back to Adolf Hitler's ideology again. But Mark Collette and Ralph, unfortunately, are cowards. And they no longer want to have their ideology spoken about outside of their little echo chamber. They have their own little echo chambers online where they talk to each other. No one who disagrees with them ever gets a look in. So I just wanted to report that. Um, and Ralph, if you're watching, please debate me. I only want to debate your political philosophy. I just want to show the world what it really is. And I want to show that it's not patriotic and that we as English people, British people, are not going to be supporting a vicious ideology that kills six million Jews countless millions of innocent Russians and British people who had to fight to put down the animal of National Socialism that you're trying to revive in Britain today. So th that, that's my message to you. Thank you. And my question to you is why don't you challenge Bob? Why don't you challenge Bob, extremist hate preacher? I don't want to. Why don't we see consistency from you? Man say it straight, man don't listen to BBC, man don't listen to ITV. Man, this man is not good. Listen, man don't listen to BBC. Even though I don't know that they all hate me, but at the end of the day, see us all. Man don't listen to BBC. Man don't listen to ITV. I'm going to reply. This guy, man. So the people of the man don't listen to BBC. He's full of the devil. He's full of the devil. He's full of the devil. And they read white men into the text. Those are the not biblical categories. Biblical categories speaks about nations, about ethnicities, Israelites, Gentiles, Philistines, Egyptians, Ethiopians. It doesn't have 